After the success of the first ever Driven to Serve Awards organized by the Society of Philippine Motor and Journalists or SPMJ last 2017, the program is back for this year's competition for the Most Outstanding Corporate Social Responsibility or CSR projects among the local car manufacturers and importers. Here are the highlights of the final judging ceremonies. The SBMJ held the final judging for the second Driven to Serve Awards at the Palms Country Club. The Driven to Serve program is aimed at recognizing the most outstanding CSR projects of the local automotive industry. With a total of 15 entries submitted by nine auto manufacturers and importers, the categories were divided into four, namely Education and Training, Environment, Community Development, and Road Safety. Representatives from Honda, Isuzu, Toyota, Ford, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Lexus, Hyundai, and Volkswagen presented their respective projects according to their categories. The judging ceremony was graced by the presence of six notable and distinguished personalities from the business, academe, and transportation sectors who served as the panel of judges. Rod Franco, President and Chief Executive Officer of Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation, MPTC. They are very good. Uh, obviously, the car companies are leveling up. Uh, their programs are getting bigger and uh, more substantive. So good, good to see them improve on their CSR programs. Sergio Ortiz Luis Jr., Honorary Chairman and Treasurer of the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Honorary Consul General of the Consulate of Romania in the Philippines. A lot of people do not know that the motor vehicle companies are doing a lot of social uh, responsibility projects. You know? Having been involved in the judging of all different categories in their uh, social projects, I'm impressed because they are really doing a lot of contribution uh, for the betterment of our society. Meritas Dagdag, President and General Manager of the Southeast Asia region of the Clorox Company. Oh, wow, they were very noble projects, uh, you know, without them really thinking about advertisement or highlighting these projects, they really did it on their own. I'm so impressed by, by the projects because they're really all about corporate social responsibility at a very authentic level. Assistant Secretary Dante Lantin, Assistant Secretary for Administration and Finance, Department of Transportation. I think this should be continued because uh, this is one area where uh, you get a holistic view of uh, the different uh, things that the, the automotive uh, industry is doing and um, this is the one way of uh, you know, sharing with the public uh, through the, uh, the society. Michael Alba, President, concurrently Far Eastern College, Silang Incorporated, FEU Alabang Incorporated, FEU High School Incorporated and others. I was happily surprised that, uh, in fact, uh, the car manufacturing firms have um, so many projects going on. And I was surprised about the scale and the diversity of the projects that they undertake. They're actually very serious. I, I was happily surprised that they're very serious about taking on their corporate social responsibilities. Kito De Rosa, former Marketing Services Manager of Philip Morris Asia, Asia Regional, Hong Kong. Oh, it is uh, very uh, innovative. Uh, SPMJ should continue doing this because it will help the industry uh, improve its image with the public. The winners will be awarded at the second Driven to Serve Awards Night, which will be held at the Yuchenko Museum in Makati City in March. Those were the highlights of the final judging ceremonies for the second Driven to Serve Awards, 
We wish the participants good luck and we will see the emerging winners very soon.